Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is about who will be our future spouse. So who will we marry? Who will we be in a long-term committed relationship with? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so I decided to choose with rings today because it kind of goes with the thing, theme, right? Um, and the rings my daughter made, so they're beautiful. So I kind of get a chance to show them off a little bit. So pile one, we have kinite. Pile two, we have Laramar. Pile three, we have fluorite. And pile four, we have pink tourmaline. Okay, so take a moment, choose the pile you're most drawn to, and uh, we'll see who our future spouse is. I'm going to get started with pile one. Okay, pile one, if you chose the kyanite, um, this is your reading. Let's just get started. We have, oh, before I start, I want to tell you, I'm going to continue. This is the last ser the last pick a card in the series where we're going to do the pendulum. We haven't been getting very good results with the pendulum, um, <laughs> but we'll see what happens today. So think of a yes or no question, okay? And then we'll get that answer at the end. Sorry about that. All right, now to get started, we have your King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Magician, the Tower, and Four of Wands. Okay, what's this? Which one doesn't look like the others? This one. What's that? <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens here. King of Pentacles tells me your person is sophisticated, secure, dependable, reliable, generous, knows how to make money. Your person loves very deeply and um, they're wise beyond their years. They are in tune with their inner voice. So they kind of trust themselves, which is really good. They're confident. Um, but there's, I feel like there's something very different and special about this person. I feel like, you know, sometimes they like ha get like a sparkle in their eye because they just um, either they're up to something good or they kind of know something that you don't know. I feel like they're that like they're that type of person where they they might keep good secrets, secrets that they know that you'll enjoy and love. So they get this like little sparkle in their eye because they know that that um something good is coming for you or something like that. I don't know. The magician tells me that they're spontaneous and creative. They're, they feel like one of a kind. They do. They feel like they're unique and special. I feel like they, um, they have excellent reasoning skills. <laughs> so like if you get mad at them, they're going to say, but wait a minute, hold up. And then they're going to give you your side. And then you're going to kind of feel like, like I hate you right now because you're right. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're kind of like, they're going to have that special touch, that charm. They're going to just know how to handle themselves and handle you, basically. I feel like, uh, yeah, they're just like, they can easily seduce you know what I mean? Tower. Now, see, this is somebody who is brutally honest, right? Somebody who can be rude at times. Or they may come, not trying to be rude, but they may come off as rude because they're just, they don't know how to be any, any other way but honest. So, it 
kind of doesn't make a lot of sense because if they're very charming, they know how to manipulate people, right? But then you have that, but they're, they're honest. They're not going to lie to you. So I, I feel like they have both. I don't, I don't know. I feel like they have both, both of those qualities in them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get what I'm feeling and I just, I can't really describe it. So anyway, they're, they're a person that could also have something, um, like a major change in their life. So tower usually represents like something that fell apart. So either they, um, had a bad breakup force something like that or maybe they lost their business or something like that there's something that crumbled in their life too so there's something that they um you know had to overcome and get past but they're somebody who really wants that security wants a family wants happily ever after who i mean the, the four wands here is just is somebody who is driven to that like they they love that stability so if they did get divorced it's not going to hold them back because they're going to want to get remarried they're, they're they just like that security that stability even though they're the king of pentacles and they can have security on their own i feel like they just like having their person with them there's somebody who loves very deeply so, yeah, this is going to be good. All right, let's see. Let's get some tea leaves and see where are my tea leaves and see uh, what else comes out for them. All right, we have carrot and mice. and empty chair and spear all right so carrot opportunity or windfall okay so they're the king of pentacles so yes they attract money to them they have that Midas touch so that makes sense mice discord among friends or family so they're you know like i said they had a tower moment here so they might have had an issue with family or friends something crumbled here right it could be relationships it could be it could be friendships that crumbled but it could be a you know a divorce so there's there's you know somebody still butthurt over it on the other side your person might feel the um the loss right but i feel like that discord is really because somebody else is angry with your person or somebody still holds them put places blame on them but, you know, somebody has left their life. So, like I said, it could have been a bad breakup or, you know, romantic or friendship. Somebody is, there's discord here. And that just, that's not going to affect your relationship in any way. That's just so you can help recognize who your person is. Um, but they feel it. The heartache over what you no longer have. So they feel that. They feel that, that loss. I, I think that they're going to get over it with, with you coming into their life. But I just feel like they, they still, that's, that effect affected them. And it might affect them for a while. But it's not going to hold them back from you. That's for sure. All right. Let's see what else comes out. All right. We got quiet time. All right, so what I'm getting from that card is that your person <laughs> um, doesn't doesn't have a lot of quiet time. They need more quiet time. I feel like your person's a busy person for some reason. I feel like they um, they like to be amongst their friends. They like to um, 
have that camaraderie. So I feel like they don't get a lot of alone time. And I think that they kind of need it. But they don't allow it themselves to have it because I feel like they feel like they're not productive if they have alone time you know they don't want to they don't want to be lazy even though alone time is important to a lot of us especially us Virgos over here (laughs) um you know alone, alone time is important it allows you to recharge so I feel with this card that your person really needs more alone time oh but this is a soulmate So, this is definitely meant to be. This is definitely a person of yours. This is definitely a soulmate. Somebody that is divinely guided to you. Somebody who you probably had past lives with. um, But it's meant to be. Look deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. I think that with that card, maybe your person's afraid to have the quiet time because they're afraid to be alone with their thoughts. They're afraid to look deeper. Um, and they don't have to be because they're a pretty amazing person here. They love so deeply. So I feel like if you really get to know this person on a deep soul level, you're just going to find, you're just going to be in awe. You're just going to be amazed because this person is, is really magical on the inside. (sighs) Learn to let go. Yeah. Your person holds on to things a little bit. So they're feeling heartache over this tower moment, right? So they hold on to that and they got to learn that. I mean, they just got to kind of move on from it. Let it go. Don't, don't let it affect your, your life in the here and now. But that's because your person loves so deeply, right? Your person cares. So that's not a bad sign. Okay, your person needs to um, act. They need to um, find their way to you. They need to have a practical plan to bring you into their life. They, um, maybe they're afraid to reach out to you or, you know, put themselves out there so they can meet you. Yeah, they need to start doing something. They need to start taking some steps to find you or to bring you into their life. I feel like there's, um... They might be guided, guided, but they might not be hearing it um, because this is probably got them a little messed up, but um, they need to start moving towards you. <sighs> I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like your person is a flirt a little bit. I feel like they're very charming and I feel like they are f- flirty. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I do. I feel like when you meet this person, I feel like they're going to be very charming and very flirty and very, um, magnetic. You're just going to be attracted to them. All right, let's get a zodiac sign. Your person could be a Libra. Or have Libra very strongly in their chart. Let's get a month now. Let's see. The month is November. Okay. So you could be meeting them in November. Or um, you could... um, November, it could be 11. So 11, 11 days, 11 weeks, 11 months... 11 also breaks down to a 2. So 2 weeks, 2 days, 2 months. So keep those numbers in mind as well. Don't don't hold on to November too tightly because it could be any of those scenarios. Let's get some thoughts and feelings. You leave me breathless and without words. Oh, Oh, your person's going to be just as attracted to you as you are to them. That's nice. <laughs> 
Oh, but see, uh, they have scars. Can you handle all my scars? So yeah, I feel like this tower moment has affected them. Um, I don't feel like it's going to hold them back. I feel like they're going to fall in love with you so very deeply and it's not going to affect your relation that way. But I do feel like that tower moment is, is, has scarred them in some way. So, and they probably feel that they, um, have more battle wounds than, than you see, you know, they probably feel like you, they probably think that you think that they're all, all scarred up, right? But I, I, I don't think it's as bad as they, they think it is. Well, at least you're not going to think so. You're not going to think that they're that all that scarred. Okay, let's get um, some love advice, and then we'll get um, a tarot advice to end it. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So this is just a reminder to your person that yes, you're the king of pentacles up there. So you know how to make some money here, but money's not important. What's important is having amazing moments with your person and with your family and friends and just people who you love. So I think your person might be learning that lesson or maybe that's the lesson that they're here to learn. That they came to earth to learn, you know, one of, one of their soul lessons all right let's see we're gonna get a good tarot card now and i'm gonna read from the book we got page of water so the page of water i open my heart fully allowing myself to feel childlike wonder and innocence all adventures lead me where i need to go and love awaits Life is a delightful dance, and I am here to frolic and play. I am ready with a big smile, and I have my dancing shoes on. So, your person's ready for you. Your person's ready f to fall in love all over again. If that tower moment was a breakup, you know, but your person is definitely calling you into their lives. They're ready for you. And this is amazing. This is going to be a very deep, loving connection, which I'm in love with here. <laughs> All right. So finally, let's get our yes and no question answered. Hopefully, my spirits and guides will uh, allow us to have an answer. We'll see. All right. So if you haven't thought of your question, pause the video because we're going to get the answer here see what happens okay so the answer is no so I hope that was the answer you were looking for but um, you gotta know so if you were saying is so-and-so my person um, maybe you just gotta think of somebody else because they may not be I don't know if that was your question, but I was, you know, just giving you an example. Anyway, Pile One, that's all I have for you today. Give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that really helps me a lot, and it makes me very, very grateful. So thank you for that, and until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose the Laramore ring, then this is going to be your reading. You ready? We're going to jump right in. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Before I get started, I wanted to tell you about, this is the last series we're going to do, the pendulum readings at the end. So think of a yes or no question, and we'll get the answer at the end, okay? Well, at least hopefully. Pendulum hasn't been cooperating this week, but we'll see. But anyway, okay, we'll jump in right in now. <laughs> Here we go. We have the moon. The Eight of Swords. Five of Pentacles, oh, Nine of Swords. What is going on with your person? Page of Wands. All right, so uh, your your person's going through something right now, or they might be going through something when you meet them. This is this is some deep. This is deep. This is this is hard. Um, 
I do feel like with the moon that your person could be a daydreamer. They're hoping and wishing for something better. And they're like coming up with these fantasies in their head. Um, I do feel like they are, they, they want change. They desire change right now because right now they are insecure. They are, they're going through something. They feel alone in this world. They feel, feel like, um, something's definitely missing from their life. They, they feel unlucky. They feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders alone. They have some pretty bad anxiety over something. They could be depressed right now. So, um, it could be that they went through a bad breakup and they're, they've been, a, you know, they're having a hard time getting over it or they're alone in this world. Maybe they are alone. Maybe, maybe, you know, they're, they don't have a lot of family or something like that. And they're just, they're not in a good place mentally right now. I do feel like that's going to change. I feel like they want the change, especially with the moon. They desire that change. They want the change. So I do feel like they're going to pull themselves out of it because I do feel like they um, are kind of young at heart. So they do have like um, like a delightful energy normally. And they do, they will welcome a new opportunity. They will. They would be, they would be very happy for something new to come in their lives. I just think they're just going through something right now. Or when you meet them, you know what I mean? They're just going through it. So I think that you will be a bright spot in their life when they, when you come into their lives. So let's get some tea leaves. Yeah, this person's making me sad. Candle and dog and bird flying and ink a pot. So the candle says you will be shown the way. Okay. So they don't see a way, they don't see something right now. They're like lonely and confused or sad, but they're, they're saying spirit's going to show them the way. Their angels and guides will guide them, right? Um, protection from a powerful friend. So somebody's going to come up and stick up for them and be like maybe their protector. So that could be you, right? But they're definitely getting news. News is on the way. So that I think that will also help them. And their problems will be resolved. So that's good. So I, whatever this is, whatever they're going through right now, it's going to be resolved. It's They're going to come out of it. Which is good. And it could be you that comes in to help protect them. That's so nice. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more cards. visualization okay so your person needs to learn to visualize okay they they need to see it if they see it they can attract it a lot faster it'll come to them right so they have to feel like they're already not depressed or their things are already better they that you're already in their life even if they can't put a face to you they have to learn to visualize it's so our minds are so powerful. Our minds and our words are more powerful than you can ever, ever really truly believe. They, they really, they really are. So we can think things into existence. We can speak things into existence. So that's what your person has to kind of do. And maybe they're learning to do that right now too. Maybe that's what helps pull them out of their depression too. Yeah, because they're feeling stuck and they just have to kind of make a decision. They have to decide that they're not going to live in sadness or fear anymore, that they're going to move on. Like there's things that are out of their control and they there's nothing they can do about it. So they just have to move on from it. They'll find a way. And I think once they make that decision, things will get so much better for them. 
I am noble, brave, and strong. Yeah, because I feel like maybe somebody's tried to knock them down. You know, maybe it was a really bad breakup and they they are getting a lot of backlash from it. Or, you know, like maybe people are talking about them and I feel like they they just need to feel brave again. So once they take that stance that they are brave, that they are strong, once they start believing that, they'll be fine. Live life to the fullest. That's what they're going to, I think that's what they're going to start doing. I feel like they're going to have that epiphany that I just got to live for today. I can't live for the past. I can't correct the past mistakes maybe, if you know. Maybe it's out of their control. What happened, happened. And they need to just forgive themselves and move on. Or forgive somebody else and move on. So they're, I feel like that's what they're going to do. They're going to start living in the here and now. Which is what we all need to do. Conclusions are in, with, in reach. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. I had them this morning too. I don't know what's going on. But I apologize. So anyway, their troubles are coming to an end. It's, it's, they're just going to be able to move on. I could, all right, so their troubles could have to do with family. So the, maybe they're going to get inspired to um, heal what needs to be healed. And it doesn't necessarily have to be their immediate family. It could be friends. It could be an ex but there's some kind of healing that needs to be done. Absolutely. So that they can move on. And they can move on feeling better about themselves. And feeling free. So even if the healing is just healing themselves. Like healing for themselves. Or forgiving for themselves. Forgiving themselves. Um, you know, knowing that they are a good person inside. Because I do. I feel like your person is a good person. I think they just took things to, too much to heart. All right. Your zodiac sign. Your person could be a Pisces. Let's get a month. July. Okay. So your person, you could be meeting your person in July. That's when you can be getting together or seven, seven days, seven weeks, seven months is also a possibility. So just keep that in mind, okay? Let's get some thoughts and feelings. Your person is going to think, all I ever wanted and needed is you. Oh, They're really going to fall for you. And how do I get you alone? Oh, so there's going to be some passion here too. They're going to really be attracted to you. They're going to really desire you. And they're going to want to spend a, a lot of time alone with you. So, that's beautiful. Alright, let's get an advi a love advice card. And then we'll get a tarot advice card. Now I'm yawning. I am so sorry, Pile 2. Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your f relationship for it's truly sacred. So, there you go. They're just going to care very deeply for you. And um, I think it's going to be reciprocated by you too. The Tower. Alright, so that kind of makes sense with what's going on with your person, right? So let's just read what the book says on this one. Things happen really fast when this card shows up in a reading. Its appearance could be, oh, could pretend a total paragraph shift or a sudden upheaval that takes something away in order for something to take its place. It could be that I've had an epiphany. Whatever it is, this card tells me unexpected events will be very interesting and offer opportunities for positive transformation if I remain present with my eyes open. So yeah, I think that there was a tower moment for your person. And um, that's okay because the tower is making room for the new. They're getting, it's getting rid of the old, what, what wasn't serving you. So um, yeah, I feel like when you meet your person, they're going to be going through a tower moment. So just be gentle and kind with them. Um, and I think 
they'll come out of it. I think everything will work out for them in the end. All right, let's get your yes or no question. So if you haven't thought of your question, put the video on pause, okay? Because we're going to get an answer now. Let's see what happens. Okay, you've got to know, pile two. So I hope that was the answer you were looking for. Um, because you got to know. Sometimes no's are good. <laughs> so that's all I have for you today, pile two. Pile, yeah, pile two. Um, thank you so much. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that helps me a lot. It makes me very grateful. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the fluorite, then this is going to be your reading. Before I get started, I just wanted to tell you that this is the last series that we're going to do the pendulum readings. Um, and so think of your yes or no question, and I will answer it at the end of the reading, okay? So just keep that in mind. We're just going to jump right in now. We got Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. Three of Swords, The World, and Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so your person is very clever, full of great ideas. They use logic to solve their problems. They could be a little competitive, and they might be risk takers. But they do strive to be the best at everything they do. Right? They can't sit still for very long. They might have a tendency to get lost in their thoughts when they have um, too much time on their hands. So, so maybe they could go down the rabbit hole, you know? <laughs> Nine of Cups tells me that there's somebody who loves life. And they um, have a pretty positive outlook on life. They, um, they feel like they're comfortable in their own skin. However, Three of Swords tells me that they've been hurt. They might have some triggers. So you just have to be careful of those because they've been hurt. They, they, history has taught them that they need to be careful who they trust and who they put their faith in. Um, they probably have some abandonment issues, so that could lead them to be a little clingy. But they are someone who has great empathy. And they're someone who gives back. So I'm feeling like if you gave 100% to them, they would give you 120. Like they, they'll give you back more than you give them, but they're looking for somebody to give as well as receive. Your knight is somebody who is ambitious, somebody who thinks before the act and uh, could be good with their money, you know, but they, uh, they follow through on commitments, so they're dependable. They might not move as fast as you, um, I don't know, because I, the, the Ace of Swords says that, you know, they can't sit still for long, but the knight says that they they move slow, so I feel like they may move slow to make their decisions because they really want they're you really using logic. They don't really use you know, their emotions too much. They they use logic. They want things to make sense to them. That makes more sense. Okay, let's get some tea leaves. Vase and yoke, and then teapot 
and finger. Okay, so the vase says secret admirer. So they they might be a secret admirer of yours. They might already know you might already know this person. Um feeling tied down or frustrated. Maybe they feel like they can't make certain moves because they're um I feel like there's something in their life that's weighing them down, that's tying them down, that's keeping them like, all right, for example, like say they want, they may want to move, but they have commitments where they're at that they have to tie up or that's keeping them where they are. So they can't really move to the place that they want to move to because they have commitments. So I feel like they're feeling a little tied down. I don't feel like they're feeling tied down with a relationship. I just feel like they're feeling tied down by um, their environment or their circumstances. It could be a job that's holding them down. Maybe they make a lot of money where they're at, but they it's not their dream job. They really want to do something else, but they feel that they can't walk away from the money. There's something, something like that that they're feeling frustrated about. They do have a very deep, relationship with a a friendship with somebody of the same sex um or they could be gay so if they're gay that's fine that's um that's what they're talking about here that they i don't know though because i mean I just feel they have somebody of the same sex that they're very close to. I don't feel like it's a gay relationship unless they're coming, unless they're talk, this is talking about you coming into a gay relationship. Um, I just feel like they already have somebody that they're really close to. They have a best friend, somebody they share a lot um, with, somebody who you might be a little jealous of. Not real jealous, but you might get to a point where you're like, do we have to, you know, go out with them again? Can't, can't you and I go out alone? Do we have to spend time with them again? Something like that. That's what I'm feeling. Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Hmm. All right, so your person has an issue coming up. Don't we all? So, um, not getting th anything too specific on that. They're not really telling me anything. They just, they might have an obstacle they have to overcome, but that's life. We all have obstacles to overcome, so I don't, I'm, not, I'm not feeling real worried about that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, they're not giving me anything more than that, so I'm not worried about it. I don't worry about that. Self-reliance. Okay, so your person is very independent and um, maybe that's why this relationship might move a little slower than you like because they're, they're used to being independent. They're used to taking care of themselves, so they might have a hard time letting you in letting you in because they might feel like, look, why do I need somebody to tell me what to do? Or why do I need somebody to check in with? Um, because I've been taking care of myself for a while now. And, but I also feel like they, they want somebody in their life, but they don't need somebody in their life. Does that make sense? Like they want a person, they want, they want a relationship. But they don't need a relationship. But they want it. They definitely want it. Okay, you've been working hard. Yeah, see, I, I said, the, oh, hang on for one second. Okay, the dog just went crazy and I just didn't want you to have to deal with that. Um, there's somebody who works hard. There's somebody who, um, like I said, can't sit still. And I think that they need to um, learn to do that, to, to take some time out from themselves because everybody needs to recharge. 
if you don't recharge, then then you don't have enough in your cup to share with others, right? So your person just needs to slow it down a little bit at times. Childlike wonder fills my life. I just think that you guys coming together is just going to be just a joyous time. You guys are going to just be so happy together. I think it's, you're both are just going to love this relationship. I think that your person's going to bring you great joy. Make the best choices. I feel like this is talking about your person. Remember I said they're slow to make decisions because they're, they're, they're using logic. They want to weigh all their options. So I feel like your person does make very good choices. Or they try to anyway. Don't let pride get in your way. So. Hmm. Is that you or your person? I feel like that might be your person, um, you know, being so self-reliant, not willing to um, reach out to you or, or put themselves out there um, because they feel like, you know, they know that they're competent. So I feel like they don't want to seem vuln- vulnerable. So they might have a, a lot of something to overcome there where they have to Learn how to just soften. Learn how to be vulnerable with somebody. This is definitely a new love. So um, it might be somebody who, who has their eye on you, but it's not somebody you've had a relationship with. This is new. This is a new love for you. And it's going to feel new and fresh and childlike. You know what I mean? It's going to feel that you're going to have that, that new love, that honeymoon phase type, type feelings in the beginning. It's going to be beautiful. All right, let's get a zodiac sign. Aquarius. Okay, so your person could be Aquarius or have Aquarius very strongly in their chart. Let's get a month. April. So April's passed. So it's either next April, which I kind of doubt. Kind of more feeling more like the fours. Four weeks, four days, four months. Hopefully not four years. But um, yeah, I think the f- number four is significant. Let's get some thoughts and feelings. We have, I want to travel the world with you. So that's good. So I feel like maybe you like to travel and your person can't sit still. So they're going to want to come with you. Even if you have to travel from work, I feel like they're going to want to come with you. I did say they might be a little clingy at times. So they're going to want to be with you a lot. I will do anything to bring you happiness. So this person, well, I told you they'll go above and beyond, right? You give 50%, they're going to give you um, 75%. So they are. They're going to they're going to make you happy. All right. So now we're going to get a love advice card and a tarot advice card. Let's see what comes out. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. So there you go. Your person is a people pleaser. Your person's going to want to give you more and they're going to throw the relationship off balance. So you're probably going to teach them to um, give that equal give and take so that your relationship stays in balance and that you're not feeling like you owe them, you know? All right, let's get a love, let's get a tarot card, The Fool. All right, I'm going to read from the book um, with The Fool because I just like their saying, so... The Fool says, I know that a spiritual approach rarely appears logical and sometimes even impractical. However, when this card appears, I can take a risk and trust that with faith, anything is possible. The invisible realm will reveal each step along the way. 
I am meant to experience this regardless of where I travel. This is a time when I am learning that I am a spiritual being having a human experience. So your person needs to have a little bit of faith that this relationship is going to be amazing and work out for them. Remember I said your person's very logical. So I think your person's going to learn when you come in that they just need to have a little bit more faith and take the, take the leap because this is going to work out beautifully because this is your future spouse, right? So it's going to work out. So I think your person will get there. I do. All right. Here's that yes or no question. If you're not ready for it, pause the video because we're going to get an answer. Let's see what happens. All right, we got ask a friend. So we're going to try it one more time and see what comes out. See if they want to tell us an answer. Oh, okay. You got a yes. That's great. So your answer is yes, pile three. I hope that helped. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that'll help me a lot and make me very grateful. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the pink tourmaline, then this is going to be your reading. Um, before I get started, though, I just wanted to tell you that we're going to do a pendulum question at the end. So far, it's been working out, so I'm, I'm happy with that. But this will be like the last pick a card seri in series with the pendulum. So just think of your question, and we'll get to it at the end. I'm just going to jump right in now. We have... Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Ooh, Seven, Seven, keep an eye out for those Sevens, Two of Cups, The Fool, and The Hermit. Yeah, if you start seeing Sevens, that means your person's close. So keep an eye on that. All right. Let's see. Your person works really hard. <laughs> I feel like they don't. They don't take enough time to enjoy life. I feel like they, they're just naturally a hard worker. It's just what they do. Um, I feel like your person has pretty strong convictions. They're not afraid to fight for what is right. You know, and I feel like if they want something, if they have a goal in mind, they're not going to let others stand in their way. They're going to be determined and brave and, and reach that goal of theirs. But at the same time, they're very warm and loving and sweet. They really like building strong and long-term relationships. They don't like it when people come and go. I mean, look, we all have people who come and go because they're here to teach us something really quick and then they leave. They're, they don't vibrate at the same level anymore, right? But um, this person doesn't like that. This person really likes it when... There's a, a, a connection with somebody. So. The fool. The fool is somebody who's naturally, naturally curious. Somebody who's open to new experiences. So I feel like your person might like to travel or go on adventures. Um, so you might have to do that. You might have to. I mean. Oh, that's. Uh, that kind of contradicts the working hard though, doesn't it? Um, okay, so I feel like your person, that's it. Your person wants to go on adventures, but they are they have a hard time doing that because they just, they work. They work a lot. And they don't want to go on adventures by themselves. So maybe they don't have somebody to go on adventures with. So I feel like when you come into their life, they might, they might um, ask you to do that, to travel with them or to, to do things with them that they don't normally get to do. Hmm. Okay. So with the hermit, your person is definitely wise beyond their years. They might like their alone time. And they're probably always searching for knowledge. They probably... Um, 
they're deep or they can be deep. You know, they like, they like to know things. It feels like they just like to know things, (laughs) you know, so they're always looking for that knowledge. All right, let's get some tea leaves. We have Weeping Willow and Chair Filled. And we have Kite and Jug. And actually, no, that's it. Okay, I thought there was another one, but it didn't. It didn't. I kind of went back in, so it's fine. We'll just take these. All right, so Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow. So maybe there's something that's, maybe there's a loss of a family member that they're going to be sad over when you meet them. Or maybe there's some turmoil in their family. Just, it feels like a sadness. So um, maybe they lost somebody in their family. Maybe they lost a family member. But someone new is coming into their life. So I feel like that's you. I feel like you're coming into their life to make it better. And here comes the kite with that vacation, right? So I feel like you might be taking your person on a vacation. I feel like when you come in, they might need it. They might just need it. I feel like they've probably been working really hard and then they have this sadness in their life. And I feel like they probably just need this light hearted, carefree time. So I feel like you're going to recognize that and you're going to be like, Hey, let's, let's take a time out. Let's take a trip. Let's do something fun together. That's beautiful. I hope you do that for them because it feels like they need that. Okay. Pile four. That's, that's getting me excited. (laughs) I don't know why, but that's getting me excited. I feel like you're a good per. I feel like this is like a good match. I feel like you're going to be the perfect person for, for this person. I, you know, like I just, it feels good. Be honest with yourself. Okay. So your person might think they want one thing, but when in actuality, they want something else. So maybe they think that work makes them happy because they're a hard worker. So maybe they've been lying to themselves and saying that, you know, I enjoy my work. I love working. So that's what I want to do. But really in reality, they want to be more like the fool. They want to be more carefree. They want to go on journeys. They want to have amazing experiences. So they lie to themselves that they're okay with working hard all the time. I don't know. I think that your person really needs to face some things about themselves that might not, might be different than what they always thought. Maybe they're just going through a change, a transformation, and they don't realize it yet. Oh, there you go. There's that mother healing. So there's that sadness. So maybe your person is having an issue with their mom or just another family member. It doesn't have to be mom could be with their kids but it does feel like there's some kind of sadness there that they should probably try to heal if they can my light illuminates the world yeah so I feel like remember I said your person's very warm loving and caring I I do I feel like they um people are drawn to them I feel like people just they could be like that magnet that because people are drawn drawn to their warmth, to their kindness, to their positivity. So, um, yeah, that's that's a beautiful trait to have. Nurture your f- relationships. So, um, Your person's the hermit, right? Your person likes a a lot of alone time. So I feel like maybe um, your your person needs to just nurture their relationships more, get out more, have more fun with their friends and um, 
even family members or whomever, I feel like they just need to nurture their relationships more, not be so introverted, not be so alone. It feels like they really need to like come out of their shell a little bit. But a win-win outcome is forecasted. So um, whatever's going on in your person's life, um, it's a good thing, right? And they're going to have some heart-to-heart conversations. Probably with you. I feel like they're going to feel like they can really open up to you. And I feel like you might help them um, heal some things that need to be healed here. So I feel that that you guys are going to have some deep conversations about how things are or were and how they could be in the future between the two of you. I feel like this relationship's really solid. I feel like this relationship is going to be somebody that you guys can really count on each other, that you guys can confide in each other. You guys can trust each other. You guys are going to support each other and just... It feels so good. This relationship feels really good. Let's get a zodiac sign. Taurus. Your person could be a Taurus. Let's get a month. October. Okay, so October is when you can meet your person. Or it could just be, you know, a a significant time in your relationship. Or if October breaks down to a one, right? One month, one week, one day. So they might be coming in pretty quickly. Let's get some um, thoughts and feelings. We have, you are worth fighting for. So, um, yeah, I feel like they're going to just know that you're their person. They're going to know it. And they're going to want to make this happen. No matter what's holding either one of you back. Hmm. I can see eternity in your eyes. So yeah, you guys definitely know that you're each other's person. You, you're just going to know. Alright, let's get some love advice and then a tarot advice card. Embrace through each other. You find the missing piece. I told you you're there each other's person. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. And justice. Let's read. Let's read justice. Let's see what justice says. The law of cause and effect is in play now, as I see elements in my life balance out. What goes around comes around. I'm now seeing evidence of this law in the conditions of my world. So, comes around, goes around, right? So that's karma. So I feel like your person's maybe experiencing some karma here. I don't feel like it's bad karma. I feel like it's good karma. I feel like they're finally getting their just, just, um, their justice, their, their rewards for, for the good deeds that they've put out in the world feel like they're very loving and kind and they're generous and I feel like now that somebody is gonna probably you be very generous with them and loving and kind back so I feel like that's what that card is saying is that karma is coming around finally for them that's beautiful I this is this is a a very beautiful relationship I love this all right let's get your yes or no question answered So if you haven't thought of it, pause the video. Well, ask a friend. So let's try it one more time. Try something a little different here. If we get another answer, a maybe. Okay, so you are not getting your answer. This is probably... um, a question that's up to you. That's probably the answer. It's up to you. It can be yes. It can be no. It's up to you. Do you want it? Yes. Do you not want it? No. It's up to you. So, sorry about that, but that's what happens sometimes. 
<laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you. So give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that'll help me a lot. Sorry about Vito in the background. But until next time, love and light.